You might have seen the viral video of UFOs flying across the moon filmed supposedly in Canada. Of course, the first thing that comes to mind, it's fake. Even though it looks very well made. Judging by the shadows objects are casting on the moon, they are supposed to be very close to it. That means they are very huge, miles and miles long. Okay, you're telling me that Star Wars Dreadnought or even Independence Day sized or even larger ships appeared at the moon and except for one lucky person who just happened to point a camera at the moon at the right moment, no one else, no cameras, no telescopes, not even spacecraft orbiting the moon noticed them. Probably most of you thought that it was just CG. With necessary skills, it's quite possible to make this. And some people actually did that. They tried to recreate the original video. That took them around 12 hours and the result is quite good. And with more time, you could do it even better. I'll leave a link to the video of the recreation down below. But being a skeptic doesn't mean simply dismissing everything that doesn't fit your worldview. The fact that it's possible to recreate doesn't itself mean that the original video is fake. So let's try to find something that will prove that it is. As I've said, it's actually very well made and I can easily see how many people might be convinced by this video. There is a date in the video and also location, Montreal. So my first thought was to check the face of the moon on that afternoon or the evening because Obviously, it's not the night. Let's fire up Stellarium and set the date and also location. Okay, the face seems fine. Well, at least the fake is not that bad. Or perhaps the original footage was actually filmed on that day. Let's look for something else in the video. I've seen very poorly made videos of UFOs with really stupid mistakes multiple times. But this one doesn't seem to have that. Or does it? Some might be confused by the shadows, the direction of the shadows on the object themselves and the way they cast shadows on the moon. But actually that doesn't matter because we've got something bigger. No matter how well the fake is made, it's made by a person and people tend to make mistakes. And if the mistake is there and your video is seen by hundreds of thousands of people, someone will definitely find it. That's why it's sometimes quite useful to read comments, but what makes this video so realistic? The shaky camera and apparent atmospheric effects, some kind of haze and of course atmospheric distortions. You will see those distortions in any video of the moon through a telescope or with telephoto lens. Atmospheric turbulence creates distortions and the light is refracted. It's even visible in my own old video where I filmed the sunset. Conditions change all the time and one night could be better for astronomical observation than the other night. But anyway, some distortion is always there. Some distortion is also visible in this video and it makes it look more real. While I was looking into this video, I was browsing Metabank and stumbled upon the screenshot of the comment to this video saying something about second 34. Let's look at this fragment. Noticed anything? No? One more time? Shaky cam is there. Haze is there, but where is atmospheric distortion? To make it even more obvious, let me stabilize the video and get rid of some motion. Let's open up Adobe Premiere, select the necessary part of the video, apply stabilizer to remove camera shaking. Also there is some panning, the effect will be seen even with panning, but I'll also compensate for that to make it even more obvious. And now let's play. Aha! Uh -huh. And one more time. Atmospheric distortion stops abruptly. But the atmosphere can't just stop like that. It's impossible. Probably whoever made this didn't apply the distortion effect to several seconds of the video. So that's it. Even the fake made as well as this one isn't without its flaws. I'm sorry you UFO enthusiasts. Sometimes it's just useful to read some comments. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other way deeper dives into the world of astrophysics and cosmology. Thanks for watching. Bye.